Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna have a little pamper session. Um, I, you know, through this self-isolation, I've been in a bit of a rut now and again. So I've been like so up and down. So for maybe like a week or so, I'll have so much motivation, so much energy. I'll be willing to do everything, go and film some videos, go for a run, do all these different things, and then not go for a run. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But go for walks, I've been doing that. Um, but yeah so but then other times I'll be just in a really down state where I just feel rubbish I'm not feeling too great you know I'm feeling a bit down and I'm feeling like when I get in that state I have my hair wrapped shoved up no makeup on pajamas and I just mope around disgusting um so today I thought I'm in one of them moods today and I was yesterday too but the like I said the a couple of weeks before to be honest it lasted quite a while I knew it was going to be a little spiral at some point um but you know but at the beginning I was feeling really good like maybe two weeks ago I was starting to feel good my energy just kept going up and up every day and then I started going for walks I've also started this is day eight of like a intense exercise thing to try and lose weight um, and I'm also recording that too, so that'll be um, a good video to watch, hopefully, if I get a transformation, if not, it was pointless. But I've just been filming every day, basically, telling you what I've been eating, what exercises I've been doing. Yeah, so I've been motivated to do all that. Today I've had a break day, my first one, because I did seven days straight, and then I'm having one break day, and I'm going to try and do that continuous. I haven't got, like, a deadline of when I want to stop, I just want to keep going, basically, until I hit what I... I'm happy with um so yeah like I was saying got on a bit of a tangent there I'm feeling really down today um I started it yesterday today I'm feeling even more rubbish I don't know what to do with myself I feel like I should be motivated but I'm not in the mood so I just was sat there just now thinking you know what I need to have a bit of a pamper I need to sort myself out my hair was shoved up it was an absolute mess um so and I was in different pajamas <laughs> I've just changed my pajamas but you know these are fresh pajamas feeling better I've had a bath I used a nice bath bomb a nice face mask um hair mask sorry and now I'm going to I've just dried and straightened my hair um and now I'm going to probably do some skincare face mask I'm gonna wax my eyebrows um probably my mustache as well um I started doing it when I was really young I don't know why I just went to a, my mum works in salon so I just I'm just like yeah let's do that let's do that so I got my, my lip waxed when I was younger and I barely had any hair there and now obviously I need to keep on top of it because I'd started it now it's gonna keep going so I was gonna fake tan but I'm not gonna bother at the moment while I'm exercising I'm showering like twice a day so um, it's just gonna wash straight off so there's no point in tanning at the moment but I'm gonna do that maybe an eye mask stuff like that just to make myself feel a bit better also I did film this a few weeks ago and it didn't film so that's good I did a whole review on this face mask that I only had one of and it didn't film so there we go that was a waste of time so here we are again second time doing it but I'm not gonna complain because it's a pamper so whatever so I'm gonna start off with just a bit of skincare first I'm gonna light my candle because candles always make you feel better so I've got this one a sugared cinnamon and I love the smell of cinnamon because it reminds me of Christmas and I love Christmas so I'm gonna just light this candle always get a candle lit it makes you feel so juicy <laughs> Always get, a, <laughs> always get a candle lit because it makes you feel so much better. Well, for me anyway. I'm just gonna, mm, where's the best place to put this where I'm not gonna knock it? I'm so clumsy, so. I've put it at the edge of my desk, which is ridiculous. But it'll be all right, I won't knock it. So, first let's do some skincare. So, what am I gonna use? I should have got this all out ready, but. So I've got all my products out. So I've got some products that I don't even know what order they're meant to be in, but I'll just do what I want basically. <laughs> it all works in the same way. So we've got this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I use this every day. Um, it's lasted ages for such a tiny tub, but I'm gonna use that and just a cotton wool pad just to cleanse my face. I haven't worn makeup in quite a, probably about a week, so um, I shouldn't have any makeup on there, but maybe my face is a bit dirty, I don't know. But it's just good anyway to cleanse your face, so. Um. 
sometimes my nose area, mainly like my T-zone area, feels really like bitty, kind of. Like, I can tell when I need to do skincare basically because it just doesn't feel very nice on my skin. So, um, yeah, got that feeling. My face goes really red as well because I think it's a bit sensitive now. It never used to be sensitive, but I think it is now because sometimes as well, I can't do too many makeup looks anymore. I used to do loads um, in one day, like spend the whole day just doing loads of makeup looks. But now if I do maybe more than two, my, my skin stings so much. So I try and stay away from doing that now and kind of spread it out instead. So next I'm going to go in with the Glow Toner by Pixie that they sent me and another cotton pad. Just pop a bit on there and tone my face. See I've got like facial oils and stuff and I don't know when I'm meant to pop them on. I don't know if that's meant to be like now. Maybe I'll do it after my mask. So I'm going to try a face mask that I haven't tried yet. It's meant to be skin balancing. Um, it's this T-Zone one. They sent this to me. It's holographic peel-off mask skin balancing. So it says organic rose hip oil helps moisturise and brighten skin while jojoba, jojoba seed oil soothes and calms. So that's what we're needing today anyway. So let's just take the... Oh, I hate getting these off. Okay, um, I have got, I've got one of these face mask applicators which are so handy. So I'm just going to pop that on. Oh, it's like a green kind of colour. And pop, whoa. That looks so cool. I was wondering how it was going to be holographic. I thought it'd be just kind of see-through, it kind of. That looks well good. Okay, maybe I should have put a headband on. Maybe I'll do that now. It feels like it's already drying though, so I want to be quite quick. Okay, that's going to be much better. So I'm going to pop this on quite quickly because it just seemed to be quite drying. Like it's kind of a weird formula. Maybe because it's holographic and it's a little bit harder to applicate than a normal face mask because it seems to be a little bit like sticky kind of but it looks so cool <laughs> I'm so fascinated I don't want to use too much because I want to use it again. I think that might be it now for the mask so I just need to leave that and let it dry which I feel like it won't be long uh, let me just read on here how long it recommends leaving this mask on for T-zone holographic peel off mask helps back. Oh yeah, I've read that part. Cleanse your face. I recommend your you steam your face for two to three minutes or prepare the skin. Oh, well I didn't do that. Apply a medium even layer to areas prone to impurities, avoiding eye area, eyebrows, hairline and lips. Leave for 30 minutes or until dry. So I probably won't be sitting here for 30 minutes keeping it on. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got a couple other things I can do while I'm waiting for it to dry. So I've got this. It's called, the brand is Gatineau, I think. Um, it's some like firming throat gel, which is also anti-aging. Um, I just like doing this. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I just like it because it feels nice. And I've got a double chin. So if it's firming it, and carry on so no harm in using it um so i basically put it on the uh what's that not the palm this part of my hand anyway pop a bit on don't need much at all it's like the weirdest consistency and then i get the other side of my hand as well and rub them together and then go up like this because that's meant to be best for your neck and then just go up oh i've got hair Oh, it goes right across my mask. And then just go up in a direction like this. Pretty sure that's the way you're meant to do it. If not, don't copy me, but I'm sure it can't do any harm. This video oh, 
cry. This always happens. All my hair just gets stuck in it. This video is more of a pamper with me than copy me. <laughs> just in case I'm doing stuff wrong because I'm just doing it how I like to do it. And it makes me happy, so it doesn't really matter. And if you want to do it, then you go for it. Or do what you think is better for you. Comment down below how, what your pamper routine consists of. Or if there's something that you do in your pamper routine that I haven't done today. Because I would love to extend it and add more things onto it. So the more, the merrier. The, the, let's just talk about this mask. Look how good that looks. It's like, it comes out green when you're like squirting it out of the tube. But then it's like purple and greeny. Well, holographic. It looks well cool. So I'm going to leave this for about, it's been probably about 5 minutes, but I'll leave it for another like 20 minutes, then I'll be back to peel it off and we'll continue with the skincare and then we'll get to waxing. So I'm back, um, it's been about half hour now, probably 20 minutes, so I just sat in the garden for a little bit because it is lovely and sunny outside, so I'm going to peel this off. <gasps> Jesus, I just ran up and down the stairs, we've got, we're in a three story house and um, we just got, I just got a delivery for some makeup, so I've just run up and on stairs, I just need to calm down. Right, so, like I said, I've been in the garden, so I'm just going to take this off now. Ooh. I hate, like, the residue that it leaves on your face. Ah, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> actually hurts. I hate these little bits that it leaves because they never come off like the dry bits on the sides they never end up coming all right well they just did but you know you always get them little bits after and like in your hair and that sort of seems to come off in one piece which is good ow it hurts though it does hurt a bit my eyes are getting a bit watery Look how cool that looks though, it's all like holographic. Ow. Oh Jesus. <laughs> it's just as bad as waxing. So I've just got a few bits on my face that I'm going to try and peel off and then I'm going to probably go in with some facial oil and the cleansing like tool that I said I got sent. See if that gets it off. So this is the tool that I got sent. It's from Be Glow and it is so good. So it's got like different buttons here for different parts. So we've got this part that vibrates the cleansing side. So this sponge here which is really really nice on your face and then you've got this and then you've got this one that does this like tool, which I think is for face masks, but it's like mainly for like clay ones or like, you know, moisturizing ones where they're like more of a serum rather than like a peel off one, obviously that won't work, but you can, it's hard to get it, but you can press both down. And it's like a, it's meant to be like a firming system. So you can put it like here for like your chin to firm that section. You can put it on your head, under your eyes, like to firm, certain parts of your face which is really cool but it took me a while to get that apart but it feels so weird under your chin like that I was like Ugh. <laughs> but I'm gonna use this side and I'm gonna use some f um this is Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil um this is from Dr Botanicals 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 something like that so I haven't used this in a while to be honest but I'm just gonna drip some on my face this is like kind of like massage oil for your face, but it's facial oil. But you know, um, I don't know if it's really meant to be applied with this, but I think it would just be nice to massage it in. That way, it feels so nice on your face. And it's like got a pulsing kind of mechanism, so. That stuff, that facial oil smells so nice as well. It's like rose and I love the smell of that. I'm gonna try and focus it on the areas down here because it's got like a spongy material. Hopefully that will get rid of the residue from the face mask. Got some up here. I hate it when it gets caught in my hair. 
it like recognises when it's on your face because it's barely vibrating here and then when you actually get it on your face it vibrates harder so that hasn't got rid of everything on my face but it's got rid of the majority of it so I'm just gonna make sure there's none in my eyebrows I might tone again mm, that's just such an odd order though I shouldn't really tone again I'm gonna though because who cares I might use this though instead because I've already used the toning essence this is a new perfect skin daily skin boosting splash so I guess that's not bad to put on now I mean oh, you should really put facial oil on last I think before moisturizer I don't know but I love the smell of that product this one the uh, daily skin splash I oh I love it it smells like so fresh so like oh I use it like every morning just to like I literally just splash them on my hands and do that and rub it into my skin but I love the smell of it and it makes your skin feel really refreshed if you don't like have time for your usual skin routine and stuff that's like a good thing to put on so yeah I'm just popping on oh yeah I didn't tell you this is the pixie rose cream moisturizer I always use this one as you can see like there's a big pattern with rose because I love that smell and I think it's really nice on your face there's a lot of like rose skin products that are really nice so I do like the smell of it as well and I've got like a body shop body moisturizer like a body yogurt that's rose as well that I'm gonna pop on in a minute I think it wasn't the plan but I've just thought I might just to moisturize my entire body so we're not just working on my face like we're pumping the whole bod so let me just put all this away so we've got a bit of room for the waxing now I'm gonna wax so I've got my wax kit here that I got off Amazon I have already put that I don't know if it'll be up yet or not but I've got an Amazon's bar an Amazon buys like um YouTube video is either up already or it's coming out I don't know what one I'm gonna upload first but um that one has this in and it's got a lot more information on it I did just see that I have some of these gold eye mask things so I'm gonna pop these on while I'm doing it give my eyes a bit of a um treatment Ugh, this is so hard to open I remember I used to like have to cut it open. I'm gonna have to do that again, aren't I? Obviously. Oh, they're so like moisturising. That's the word I was looking for just now. They're very moisturised on the skin because they're sealed in like a really nice like I don't know what it is, but some sort of product where it just keeps them really nice and moist. And then when you put them on, it just feels so good. Oh, I haven't worn one of these in so long. So I'll be back in a minute once it is all heated up and we're ready to wax. Right, so the wax has finally melted. It's been about five minutes. I keep spinning it so it doesn't like fall and get all stringy. But I'm just gonna pop it on now, I think. I shouldn't blow it. Ready? So I'm just waiting for it to dry, which literally takes about a minute, not even that. A couple of seconds, basically. And then you just rip it off in an upwards direction. So see, look, it's all dry now. So it's hard wax now, so I just need to rip it off. And I hate this part because it really hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, so again, it's took off all my hair. Do I look cute? This is an interesting look. I mean, this is not flattering for YouTube whatsoever, but I'm sure it's entertaining to watch because I look like a mess. Right. Wow, so much come out actually. That's probably the best one yet. That's that area done. Now we've got to do the eyebrows. 
which isn't as painful, I don't think. So we've got the hard part done. I love the feel of this. You can see I keep touching it because it feels so nice. It's like gooey. I might order some now on Amazon while I'm waiting for the wax to heat back up. 25 pairs for £10. Yeah, let's get some of them. My money is going down so quick right now. I had so much money yesterday, uh, like two days ago, and then we went like plant shopping. Who knew that could be so expensive? I spent, well, a lot of money on plants, and I only got about, well, I think I've got about eight plants for the house, but we got a really big one for the front room, which was like 60 quid or something, so that already was enough and then we had to get obviously we bought all the plants which are expensive and then we had to buy the actual pots as well so like the plant pot for the 60 pound plant was like 20 quid 25 quid so just that alone was so expensive so if you think of everything else as well you know it, it ended up being quite expensive but it looks nice in the house now so who cares right all done i've ordered 25 more so that's good so the wax is heated up nicely again now i'm gonna just turn it down again so it doesn't burn my skin. I plucked them really not that long ago to be honest so they don't really need doing but I'm gonna do them anyway just to keep on top of it. And Ooh! I don't know how well this is gonna go because I've just got a bit on my actual eyebrow and I'm gonna have to pull it off now either way so oh well. Off. Jesus. Oh, I took so many hairs out but there's none there. Well it's not anymore. I took loads of hairs out, so maybe there were hairs there, but I couldn't see them. Paint is a beauty. There we go. Jesus. Wow, that took loads of hairs out. It takes it right from the root, doesn't it? So I've got this body, this body shop, um, British, it's British Rose body yogurt and it smells so nice and I love the packaging because it's pink and it's got the rose on the top. I've got a few other flavours as well, I've got like ginger, I've got mango and I've got another one, I can't remember what one it is, but I love the smell of them so um, and the yogurts are way better than like normal body butter because as you can see it's like a weird consistency where it dries quite quick and it's just really nice and it spreads nicely, it doesn't leave like white marks, it's just, oh it smells lovely. So just popping this all over my body just to make it smell nice and me feel a bit more moisturised and a bit better. And then I'm just going to pop some on my legs. Alright, so I've moisturised my arms and legs. I won't do the rest of my body because I've got pyjamas on so there's no point. But that is it. So I'm going to just take my hair down. Ugh. But this is it for the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it was a relaxing time for you to watch um, and I hope it motivates you to have a little pamper session yourself. Obviously I, um, I don't really say it very often but I do suffer with mental health quite a lot with anxiety um, and usually I go and see a counsellor um, every like other week but at the moment obviously I can't see him because I'm in self isolation and I... You know, it's very expensive because he's a private counsellor, so I'm not going to be doing phone calls at home because he's giving me like some work to do from home anyway, so that kind of helps me. But pampering is just a really nice way to lift your mood up and make you feel better, a bit more relaxed, and just a bit better about yourself. You know, you walk around and you smell nice, you've got waxed eyebrows, you've got nice skin, and you're just feeling much better. So I hope you enjoyed, and like I said, I hope this motivates you to have a little pamper session yourself, make yourself feel good. And I've said it on my Instagram story, if you, you know, are feeling down or you've got anxiety and you're really struggling, give me a message on my Instagram, which is down below in the description, and I will try and help you as much as I can. Um, there's not much I can do, but it's always nice to have someone there to talk to. Um, you know, I'm never going to judge anyone for no matter what you say, I'm never going to judge you. So I'll just try and help you as much as I can. If you need to call someone, you know, just message me on Instagram and we can have a call, we can have a chat, or whatever you need, I can try and help as much as possible. Obviously, you know, anyone who ever messages me on Instagram, I always respond and try and help as much as possible. So it's always nice to have someone to talk to. I have my partner, which is really, who's really understanding. So it's really easy to talk to him. But if you don't have that kind of person in your life, or you do, but you can't talk to them, you know, like I said, just my Instagram's down below in the description. So just give me a message on there, like a private message or something, and I can try and help as much as I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one.